ready? It's sing-along time. What does love, love, love look like? What does love look like? What does love look like? Oh, what does love, what does love, love, love look like? It looks like joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It looks like joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Well, that's the way love rolls. What does love look like? Yeah, what does love, what does love, love, love look like? It looks like joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It looks like joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Yeah, that's the way love rolls. This is the fruit of the Spirit, yeah. God wants you to get near it, yeah. This is the fruit of the Spirit, yeah. God wants you to get near it, yeah. Oh, what does love look? What does love look like? What does love look like? Oh, what does love, what does love, love, love look My name is Duan, and welcome! I'm so excited to see you because this month we're talking all about love. And just like the song says, we're gonna ask the question, what does love look like? So far this month, we've learned that love looks like joy, peace, and patience. And our big idea today is love looks like kindness. I am so glad when my friends are kind to me and they share their snacks with me. Look at all this lovely fruit. I love grapes. And you know one of my favorite snacks is cheese and apples. Yummy. And they share their toys. Oh, and they share their crafts. This is so amazing. Hands that touch the heart. And this card is from my friend Anle. And she made this card to me to show me kindness with the stamps. This card is very special to me. And I have a painting here and another note. I love you because you're kind and you help me. These crafts are so great. And another thing my friends do to show kindness is to do a silly face. <laughs> that is so much fun. I hope that you can think of something kind to do to others while we listen to our story. There are so many kind things that happen in our story today and a surprise too. Let's go to story time. Story time. Hi friends, 
My name is Lisa. Thank you so much for joining me again for another exciting story. You ready? This one is called Love Looks Like Kindness. A very, very long time ago, there was a woman named Naomi. She had two sons. Those two sons grew up and got married. Their wives' names were Ruth and Orpah. They were a happy family until something very sad happened. Naomi's husband, as well as Ruth's husband and Orpah's husbands all died. They were all very sad. When that happened, Orpah decided to move back home with her family, but Ruth told Naomi, I want to stay with you. I will go wherever you go. I will live wherever you live. I will serve the same God you serve. And because there wasn't food in the town where they were living in, they traveled to a place where there was food and where Naomi had family. Ruth stayed with Naomi. And because Naomi was growing old, Ruth made sure Naomi was taken care of. You sometimes take care of your grandparents and give them a good hug? Yeah. Ruth worked in a field all day, every day to gather grain to make food. She worked in whatever field she could find. The field she found belonged to a man named Boaz. And guess what? Boaz was part of Naomi's family. He wanted to help care for Ruth and Naomi. Boaz was so kind to Ruth, he gave her extra food to care for Naomi. So Boaz was kind to Ruth, Ruth was kind to Naomi, everyone was taken care of. Soon, Boaz decided to marry Ruth, and Ruth made sure Naomi was cared for too. They all showed love and kindness to each other. Guess what else? Ruth had kids, and her kids had kids, and her kids' kids had kids, and eventually, can you guess who came from her family? Can you guess? Try. Jesus! How cool is that? They all showed kindness to each other and they all were a happy family. Now, I hope you enjoyed that story. You guys are gonna go off and have some fun and I hope you'll join me again for some more stories. Bye. Activity time! was a great story, wasn't it? Yeah, Ruth and Boaz were so kind. And did you know that they're great, 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 a whole bunch of great grandparents to Jesus? Oh, wow, yeah. And Jesus shows us the best ways to be kind. He even shows us how to be kind to those people that we aren't always kind to. Let's do an activity, Maxim. Okay, what did you have in mind? Well, in this story, Ruth picked up grain for food for Naomi to be kind. So I was thinking, um, maybe we could pick up our toys and our messes as a way to be kind. I actually, I actually have heard of that game before. It's called speed pickup. Okay, how does that work? Well, you get down on the ground and you, you pick up as many toys as you possibly can. Okay. But the catch is that you have to do it neatly and you can't do it, making it more messy. Okay. Okay, let's try that. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Okay. Neatly, right? Yes. Okay. Are you guys cleaning up at home? All right. You guys gotta go fast, okay? You said fast, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, Maximum, we got stuff on the table. Get to the table, I'll finish oh, no. down here. Okay. All Remember, right. oh, nice son. and steady. Okay. We're here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fast, 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 fast. Let's go, let's go. They're gonna beat us. Oh, you dropped a marker. Okay, all right. Now, you gotta put the markers in the bin, in the thing, yeah. Perfect, I'll put guys, these away. Guys, come on, help me. I'm not able to do this by, by myself. Come on, are you guys almost done? Okay, Maxim, you still gotta fix the papers. Come on, put them in a pot. There we go. Did I do it? Yes, great, good job. Thanks for helping us, guys. That was such a good way to be kind to your family. 
Yeah, that was so much fun. Now, let's go to Kivers. Kivers. Hey guys. Hi friends. Are you guys ready to learn the key verse together? Maxim, will you say the key verse with our friends? The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, and peace. Galatians 5, 22. Okay, now let's add some actions to that. The fruit of the spirit. So you're gonna wiggle down. Is love. You're gonna cross your arms over your chest. Joy. You're gonna open your arms like you're giving a big hug. And peace. You're gonna take a deep breath in and let out a big sigh. <sighs> Galatians 5, 22. And you're gonna open your hands like you're reading a book. Are you ready? Let's do it from the top. Okay. But this time, you guys get to join in. Okay. The fruit, the fruit of the, of the spirit, spirit is love, joy, and peace. Oh, from Galatians 5, verse 22. Wow, that was so good, good you guys. Good job, Maxim, good job, guys. Great job, Annabelle. Now, let's do it one more time. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's do this. The fruit, fruit of, of the, the spirit, spirit is love, joy, joy and peace. <sighs> from Galatians 5, Verse 22. That was so, so good. Good job, guys. Great Good job, job. Maxim. Great job, Annabelle. Let's see what Duan has for us next. Bye. Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye, but before we do, may I pray with you? How about today we give ourselves a big hug? Okay? Let's pray. Dear Lord, Thank you so much for filling us with your love, joy, peace, and patience. Help us to be kind and loving, especially when we don't feel like it. Thank you so much for your loving kindness towards us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I had so much fun with you today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye. What does love look like? What does love look like? Oh, what does love? What does love?